Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. All right, here's a good general question for everybody. What page do you use in your default web browser as your start page? I mean, have you bothered to change it from the start page that ships with your web browser? I know a couple of weeks ago, uh, I changed my parents' start page. I had originally given it to them with Google as the start page, and I changed it to their ISP's mail page, like in terms of being able to check their email on the web, because the first thing that my dad would do when the browser would load is he would go to that bookmark. I'm like, well, I'll just save him the time, and I'll make that the start page instead of Google. And they had a fit. They, could, they were like, well, where's the Google? It, it, it's there. I'm, you can use the little bar here in the title. Right there is the, you can use the Google or you can go to Google. Yeah, but where'd the Google go? It's, it's there. I just changed your start page. Well, change it back. All right, fine. I'll change it back. Jeez. Didn't realize people would be so picky about it. Well, anyway, you may have Google as your start page as TJ does and as my parents do. Don't worry. I, I fixed it for them. I'm not going to try to suggest anything else again, that's for sure. Even though I thought I knew them better than they apparently know themselves. Well, you know, we're on the eve as of the recording of this video of Firefox 3 being officially released. I hope you're taking part of download day. Remember, I made that call to action a few weeks ago, and I know a few of you said, Hey, Chris, are you participating in download day? Like, yes, I am. That's why I mentioned it a few weeks ago as soon as Firefox decided, or I guess Mozilla decided to say, Hey, we're going to do this world record thing. So now that you have Firefox 3, what are you doing with it? Browsing the, the web, right? What else are you doing with Firefox 3? Well, here's a suggestion for you. Yeah, there's a whole point to me, you know, setting everything up here. There's a utility called Feedly, F-E-E-D-L-Y, and you can find it at Feedly.com. But don't bother looking if you're not using Firefox 3 because it's a plugin, an add-on, that integrates seamlessly with Firefox 3 and will give you the ultimate start page. But it's more than just a start page. I mean, it is literally your interface to the web. We've talked about news aggregators before, like Google Reader or desktop news aggregators, you know, that will allow you to pull in your favorite blog feeds to keep track of things. All your friends, they may have feeds if they have a blog or, you know, if they have some kind of feed that is integrated with their social network. Feeds are just an easier way to stay in touch with what everybody's doing. And what Feedly will do is remix all of those feeds dynamically and produce results in ways that you're never going to be able to see them anywhere else. Now, this is only a beta product. People have been testing it for a little while now, but when I tried it today, I was surprised pleasantly. Very, very, very impressive and, you know, doesn't cost a thing. So if you've got Firefox 3, try Feedly. Once you go in there, it'll ask you a few questions like, hey, are, do you belong to Twitter? I'm on Twitter. Do you belong to FriendFeed? I'm on FriendFeed. Do you have a Google account? I have a Google account. And it'll pull in information from these services that you're already using and then make recommendations. Say, you know, you're subscribed to this feed. You might also like that one. And yes, you can subscribe to my feed from within Feedly and it will mix it and match it with related content that you've also subscribed to and make recommendations based on the content that you want. You can categorize or, you know, automatically place into uh, certain categories or buckets. Um, you know, you can press a button and automatically generate a, a celebrities page or a, a games page, fashion, cooking. I mean, they've got some preset categories, but you could add any feed to it. And you're going to be able to browse or read those feeds uh, right from within the Feedly interface, saving time, saving page loads, and getting more information quicker. And I think that's the whole idea behind Feedly. And of course, they've got a, a few other features here. They say a more social and magazine-like start page for Firefox 3. And it's absolutely true. I would not be surprised if some company comes along in the next couple of months and acquires Feedly. It's one of those types of products. In fact, you know, 
I don't know if Mozilla would take it in under, you know, their wing, but it's seriously very, very impressive in terms of discovery. I mean, it, it, it's going to take some getting used to, but let me put it this way. I wasn't, you know, dissuaded as I was browsing around and exploring things. Uh, I subscribe to a lot of feeds. I watch a lot of things. And certainly, you know, I'm an information junkie. And if you're much like me, you love knowing about when things are happening, right when they're happening, then Feedly, of course, in conjunction with Firefox 3, is for you. A couple of the other features, uh, they've got a, a search capability that will allow you to search through your favorite websites, you know, using Google's uh, customized search engine. Uh, they've got something called The Wall, and that is a way where you can more easily scan through all your friends' recommendations. So if they add something on their Google Reader, they've made that recommendation, they're saying, hey, I like this, and if you've already said, hey, I'm your friend, then anything that friend likes, you're going to learn about, at least through the wall, in Feedly. It's not a website. It's an add-on, a plug-in, something that just ties in seamlessly with the Firefox 3 experience. If there's any reason for you to upgrade to Firefox 3 beyond, you know, it's newer than Firefox 2.0, it's because of Feedly. So give it a shot, let me know what you think, and, and I'd certainly be interested to know if, if you subscribe to my feed, because I have one. Just, just look for me, Chris Perillo. It makes the recommendation great. If not, well, I'm making the recommendation. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of a few other essential Firefox add-ons. You know, what do you need to have in Firefox? Are you waiting for some plugins to be updated for Firefox 3 if you've been using Firefox 2 for so long? Are you upgrading to Firefox 3 at all? Just curious. Just want to know. Feel free to leave a comment, of course, in this thread, or you can stop by the chat room, which is being in done in conjunction with this live video feed here uh, and we're typically talking tech software hardware I'm making recommendations throughout the day that I usually post to my Twitter feed or my blog feed or my friend feed feed we're just a a bunch of feed happy feed people I don't know what what what, what do we call ourselves really uh, it doesn't matter we're a bunch of geeks Typically Talking Tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.